Okay, we're going to look at another example of finding equations of tangent and normal lines to a curve at a particular point. So just like before, we know that uh, to find the equation of a tangent line to a curve, we're going to use the idea that the slope of the tangent line is the derivative dy dx at the point we're interested in here. Uh, I'll just write here at x equals square root of 7. Okay, so uh, we're going to start by finding dy dx. One thing that we might notice about this particular equation, though, as opposed to the last one we looked at, is that this equation is not solved explicitly for y. And in fact, if you try to solve it explicitly for y, you have some kind of complicated algebra because of a plus and minus square root that end up involved there. So for this one, to find the derivative, the dy dx, we're actually going to use one of the differentiation techniques that we just recently learned, which is implicit differentiation. All right, so we're going to start with our equation, x squared plus 9y squared equals 16. And we're going to differentiate implicitly with respect to x. So remember, that means we're going to find the derivative with respect to x of both sides of the equation. Okay, so when I differentiate the left side of the equation with respect to x, the derivative of x squared, that's a pretty easy derivative, 2x. When I differentiate this term involving a y, and I'm differentiating with respect to x, remember we're treating y as a function of x, so this is where we're going to need the implicit differentiation. So the derivative of 9y squared, we'll use the exponent rule here, the power rule, we'll have 18y, but really I'm using chain rule here times dy dx. Remember that when you do implicit differentiation and you're differentiating anything that involves your dependent variable y, you're going to have this extra factor of dy dx. That's really from chain rule. And then the other side of the equation, don't forget to differentiate that with respect to x, so the derivative of a constant with respect to x is 0. And then when you do implicit differentiation, remember that you need to solve for dy dx. So I'm going to do just a couple little steps of algebra here subtract 2x from both sides, and then divide through by the 18y. We'll do that in two steps here. And then if I divide through by the 18y so that I've solved for dy dx, I can reduce my negative 2 18th here as well. Okay, so that is my derivative. That would give me my slope of my tangent line at the point we're interested in. So here, instead of just plugging in x equals square root of 7, we'll also need to plug in the y-coordinate of the point, which they gave us as well. So our slope of our tangent line is going to be our dy dx evaluated at our point. So make sure we put the right number in place of x and y here. So I'll have negative square root of 7 over 9 times 1 will just be 9. All right, so that is the slope of my tangent line. I've already got a point here, so we can just write the equation of that tangent line using point-slope form. y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. And if you want to solve for y, you can add 1 to both sides. All right, so there's the equation of our tangent line. And notice it also asks us for the equation of our normal line, and so we don't actually have to do too much more work to get that. We have to remember that slopes of perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals of each other. So the slope of the perpendicular line, or you could write m normal, is going to be the opposite reciprocal of the slope of the tangent line. So I'll have positive 9 over square root of 7. We'll have the same point that we're using, just a different slope here. So for the equation of the normal line, I'll have y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. And then if I want to solve for y, I can add 1 to both sides. Okay, so let's go ahead also and look at the graph of that to make sure that our lines look tangent and perpendicular to the graph of this curve. 
Okay, so what you see here is a graph of the equation x squared plus 9y squared equals 16. That's an ellipse that you might remember from previous algebra classes. And we're going to look at those lines. I've typed them in, but let's just think a little bit about where those would be at. So the square root of 7 is going to be somewhere between 2 and 3, right? 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, so the square root of 7 will be somewhere between 2 and 3, and the y-coordinate is 1, so we're talking about an equation of a tangent line and a normal line to the graph at this point where my cursor is. So we'd expect the tangent line to follow the curve there, and then the normal line to look perpendicular to that. So I've already typed them in here, so we're going to look at those. First of all, the tangent line. So there's the tangent line. It follows the curve. If I zoomed in really close, the slope of that line and the slope of that curve would be really close to each other. That's the whole idea of the tangent line. And then the normal line should look perpendicular to that. So there we go. We've got our tangent line and our normal line at that point. All right, so we've got several homework problems like that, so hopefully you can get through all of those now.